Was or what is this? Crypto Muscle coming to you in another YouTube video. Here we are internationally right now, worldwide. I think it is where it's at. Crypto Muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network coming to you with another YouTube video. All right, you know what? Fun times, fun times is all I gotta say. Because, uh, man, the bullshit I've been hearing out there, man, it just makes you laugh. And that. You know, you, you always got to stay on your toes is what you got to do in crypto. It's funny. So uh, before we talk about this, I also have a new entry in the um, Death Watch series here. By the way, welcome to Death Watch, all right? Uh, it's critically acclaimed. People love it, and they can't get enough of it. So I continue to bring it. Well, I mean, it's because of, one, entertainment, two, because it's real, Right, this is stuff that's really happening, and either no one really likes to talk about it, or, or even bring it up, or even just share the facts that are just simply happening. So I do that. But anyhow, let's get to it. All right, uh, here's Echo One. That's one of them, and of course the other one that's a topic of the matter as well is. Um, let's see where is it at? There it is. Can't forget Miss Quopi, all right? By the way, check my email as I do every day. And still no email for recovery. And they say it's delivered at random and blah, 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 blah. And today is January 16th, all right? And so I don't know who came up with the whole thing with, uh, you know, everybody should get it by January 31st. I don't think it was officially said. I just think that. It's just one of those things that people come up with an idea in the community or whatever. And then as more people talk about it, it for some reason becomes a weird fact when it's not even a fact. All right. And so the fact of the matter is, I think there's still a lot of us that hasn't gotten anything and that they're pumping up numbers about of the amount of people that supposedly received it, but hasn't checked their profile, which... To me, it's pretty stupid because they're just trying to say that people are stupid, which you are. You guys are stupid. You, you people are stupid. But at the same time, uh, they're trying to make it out and play that game, too, that you guys are stupid. Because think about it. All right. They're, they're really blatantly saying this in your face. All right. Saying, oh, well, we've done our part. We sent the re, uh, you know email recovery and it's not our fault that. You know, 35% of you guys are not checking your profiles or, or you know, checking back in to log in. It's like, um, no, because we all want to go back in if we have that, if, you know, if we're afforded the opportunity and we're waiting for it, how can you say there's a good chunk of us that hasn't done it, all right, that hasn't really checked our emails or really followed up on it? Come on, man. They're really making you sound like you're stupid, all right? And so... Uh, that's the idiocracy that we have going on here in crypto, in Quopi. And, uh, yeah. All right, granted, there are people that maybe receive their stuff. Cool. There's people that maybe received, uh, you know, their withdrawals and all that. Cool. But the biggest thing is that the floodgates is open, right? Oh, yeah, anybody that's new, come on in. Come on in. Look, look what we're doing, man. We're giving you recovery. We're paying. You know, so come on in and, and bring your money with you, right? Bring your money with you, put it in, and uh, that way you could uh, be a part of this experience, right? But the problem is that they're really trying to suck you guys in because I think that this whole game they're playing is basically to just really get the new people in because they're seeing that Quopi's, you know, putting in a good faith effort to get everybody squared away and everybody back on track and everything and that you know and hinging off how successful Quopi was so you play all that you know you put all that together it, it's going to get you know people excited to come on board and join Quopi and all that I'd be very cautious though because I just I still believe that until we're a hundred percent and I just have a feeling we'll never get to a hundred percent of everybody getting recovered, supposedly uh, recovered, because I just think it's just part of this game they're playing right now. 
and they'll we'll we'll give if they are giving back, which everybody keeps saying, oh yeah, they are giving back. All right, so let's just say they are. All right, they're only giving out a few at a time, whereas they're getting a lot of new people joining, right? But also handing back just a few at a time, right? You know, just to kind of you know just get the ball rolling just a little bit. You know, here you go, guys. Here you go, guys. Right, just handing out. You know. One to one, one to one, you know, at a time, and then let's just say for every one, maybe there's like five to ten to sign up, right? And then okay, we'll hand out another one again, open up that account, you know, we'll get that guy's account back, and then another five to ten to sign up, you know. So the amount of accounts going out and giving back versus the amounts come in, I think, is really, like, really, really, you know, inverse opposite, like you know, double, triple, quadruple the numbers, you know, whatever, right? 10 times the number versus the amount of, of, of counts given back, all right? And all this could just be pure speculation, but I don't give a shit. Um, until I see more, I'm just going to stand by where I stand because, you know, it's just, you know, I've been playing in this game of crypto for a very long time, and so... There's not a lot of things that are happening in this space that are like, oh shit, you know, this is like a new experience, you know, like I've been down these sort of roads before and seen all the stuff that happens, right? So something like this, it's not very new that happens, but it happens, you know? And for all the new people, of course, they're going to get fooled by it, you know? And that's just what happens. That's part of the experience of of the experience right is you learn by experience so in time when you guys get fooled because Quopi pulled it from you once again then you know you'll realize okay I got had you know and okay I learned my lesson and maybe uh, next time um, you know when something like this happens I know what to do right and that's what it is I'll just chalk it up to just learning all right but uh, in the meantime I'm still waiting, all right? And so with that, let's go move on, all right? Because we got to talk about Echo 1, and then we got the new entry, right? I already talked about it um, before the weekend, but this time I'm going to hammer down on it, all right? So uh, before I do, let's talk about quickly about Echo 1, and then uh, tomorrow I'm going to give you a full, a full, full-on, man. I'm talking about a full, girthy full-on about Echo 1 that you won't believe, all right? But... I'll just lay down the groundwork story right now, all right? So all of a sudden, <laughs> and I'll show proof to you, all right? Uh, all of a sudden, all right, uh, people keep asking questions in uh, one's old, uh, you know, dumbass chat named Marcos. So he finally pipes up and, and speaks, right? And he's saying he's been trying to get in touch with them and all this other stuff and and he's only talked to the people that he's been talking to. He said that the CEO is not even a real CEO. The David dude was his name. No, I don't think his name is David, right? Was it? I don't know. But he said that the CEO was, wasn't even the real CEO in the first place. And that that in conversation with the people that he's talked to in the platform, the support team, right? And um, he, they said that they used the CEO as just a face person for the platform because, you know, it's good to have that sort of face for the platform. So, the... <laughs> and it's... And man, the, the story of this just makes you laugh, right? And we'll go over all this in full detail tomorrow, all right? Like I said, I have proof, but I'm trying to lay down the groundwork. And so, um... With that, all right? Um... Yeah, so, you have the fake CEO leaves gone right because he kind of just never really put in the good faith effort and put into it in the first place and so basically echo one's been virtually a faceless platform so one <laughs> that remember that promise in the very beginning that old boy marcos uh just, you know so oh, you know when it first launched when it first first launched on echo one oh yeah by the way this this week you know we're gonna be doing an interview with the ceo and all that right and then after that week passed, never spoke about it again, right? Never mentioned it, never spoke about it. And um, just that first week, though, he kept on saying, eh, we're going to be, you know, interviewing the CEO and all that. So, 
you know that he's in on this shit, right? You know what I mean? Like, um, he, he doesn't talk about it. And only it comes to light now that the CEO was fake for Echo 1. And then he tries to go in this spiel about how a platform doesn't need a CEO and that, you know, they don't need a face for the platform just because this, this, and this, and that we've seen before what happens when they put a CEO on it. A lot of times they're fake, blah, 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 blah. Hmm, breaks to differ. Maybe the, uh, there's, that's why there's no CEO for uh, Titans 369, huh? I don't know. Just uh, throwing that out there. But um, it's funny, though. Um, and then, yeah, he goes in this explanation about fake CEOs. <laughs> huh, that makes me wonder, right? So remember the fake CEO of uh, all the different positions that Jan was doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was his buddy, right? But, of course, he won't throw shade on his buddy that he was a fake CEO of everything, right? Max spread, try to be CEO of CloudFi, and uh, try to really step into the role of Vortec. And, you know, it, it was countless of platforms. It kept on being some sort of, quote, unquote, C, C of something. Chief Executive Officer, Chief Marketing Officer, whatever. Some high-level position in every company because he felt so important, right? But, of course, he wouldn't slam on his buddy for doing that stuff. But, again, when he talked about it in the chat, he was just like, oh, well, we all know what C fake CEOs are and stuff. You know, they don't really bring much value to the company. All it does is brings it down. It brings negative attention, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, wow, <laughs> you really spoke about Jan that time without really speaking about Jan, you piece of shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so that's what, you know, Marcos is such a trash piece of shit. And then he sits there and he'll say bullshit like, Oh, you know, I put $30,000 of my own money in here, and I only got back a certain amount, so I'm in a big... Like, get the fuck out. You know you didn't put $30,000 of your own money in here. Just like, he tried to make the claim with that my Dana as well, because uh, their CEO or their... I think it was C CFO, CMO, whatever it is, for my Dana fled, you know, took what funds were in it and, and left. You know, just said, I'm done with my Dana. Because my Dana was trash anyways, man. And all I got to say is, when I saw Marcos join it and try to really kind of somewhat pump it, I was like, nope, I'm not even going to join that shit. And so I didn't. And luckily I didn't because look where I'm at now. I, I didn't have to bother, you know, really giving you a, a sad story about my Dana. I, don't, I mean, I saw the potential, but very, very tempted. But I didn't pull it off because, I mean, it, I mean, really? Because I saw Marcos get into it and I was like nah I'm not going to do it and so um, with that though it's funny going back to this and how you know it's, it's it's just so contradicting that's the whole thing that really bugs me the most about everything about what Marcos is is that he's a walking talking piece of shit contradiction artist because everything he says he's always contradicting himself you know say one thing do another and then he'll say it in a way of things where it's like, uh, didn't you just do that? You know, you question that, right? Along, and then even along the lines of stuff like, you don't give financial advice, but yet he gives a lot of recommendations. And to me, if you're giving recommendations, especially related into crypto, hmm, that to me sounds like financial advice, right? So, you know, it's just stupid stuff like that. And then he tries to hide behind some bullshit disclaimer, which to me doesn't really protect you as a piece of shit person from anything because you're still a piece of shit. All right. And the disclaimer and your face all over everything is not going to protect you, buddy. All right. It, it's all going to catch up to you anyways. because You're a piece of shit. And people are going to end up one day, one day realize it. Right. <laughs> and so uh, when they finally wake up, because, um, you know, it's just, I, I just don't get it. But it's so easy to see how much he lies all the time. And blatantly, he does it in your face. It's just so funny. You know, and he tries to hide about how he's so holier than thou. And, you know, his Sabbath day is Friday and Saturdays, which in the history of life and religion, there's no such thing. All right. <laughs> Um, everybody outside of, you know, uh, Marco's cult, which is just him and his dumbass bitch Dora, 
uh, no one else. <laughs> uh, they only take Fridays and Saturdays off. And believe me, hey, I take Fridays and Saturdays off too at work, and I love it. <laughs> you know, uh, currently my my current schedule is Thursday Fridays, but if I could get back to Friday and Saturdays, hey, I love that schedule too. You know, and so I, I know the feeling of being off Fridays and Saturdays. So if you're trying to use religion to cover that up, you know, and then uh, get the fuck out of here because you're a piece of shit, anyways. Because all the stuff that is blasphemous that he does, especially about lying all the time. I mean, how can you be religious but lie all the damn time, right? And say stupid shit like blessings and, oh, I pray for this and I pray for that. Get out of here, man. You're so garbage, man. What a piece of shit. And then you work with characters like Jan, who's really, you know, scum as well. And so... It just doesn't make sense and it doesn't fit the image of being this holier than thou person when you, you know, one lie and full of contradictions all the time. And then you work with piece of shit people like Jan and Don Malachy, right? You know, and it's funny because anytime you ask Don for any interjection, you know, it's, it's never, never a negative thing, you know. Oh, oh, Marcos, uh, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, and. We just got to just move on and get the fuck out of here too, man. You're trash. That's why he never shows his shit. Never. All right. Plus, I know the background story of how Don got into Echo 1. And let's just say desperation <laughs> counted and uh, scrambling and desperate. He found his way. That's all I got to say. I mean, I could say more, but I won't say more. Um... It's fun because it's fun to know the inner workings of some of these things and really kind of walk along the fine line and talk about how these piece of shit people, you know, try to blatantly, you know, rub it in your face and then try to act like they're trying to do things in good faith when they're really not, you know. So it's just funny. It's just I just laugh at this stuff all the time. All right, just like I laugh at Marco's face all the time because he's trash. And um, I'm still waiting. Those videos are going to be coming down real soon, right? You'll see. Pretty soon, all the Echo 1 videos will be gone. All right? And so, like I said, tomorrow, I will show you guys what I'm talking about in reference to this whole spiel about, you know, his explanation about how they had a fake CEO and, and uh, you know, fake CEOs doesn't make a difference in a platform and, like, he's trying to make make it light of it, you know? And it's like, people are asking, well, if you already knew about that, then why didn't you say it from the, you know, early on? Then he tries to play it off, you know? Like, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. It's like, get the fuck out of here, man. You're, you're fucking trash, man. Piece of shit, right? And Jorge backs me up on that big time, right, Jorge? Jorge Vassal out there, you know, check him out. I'm telling you, man, he, me and him, we're on the same page on this stuff. And he knows it. That I know it that Marcos is full of shit, right? And uh, it's just funny because we can laugh at this stuff all the time, all right? Um, and there's there's others out there that we know, right? I mean, I could throw some other uh, enthusiasts. I'll just say enthusiasts out there that we know that Marcos is trash, all right? And so, and if they don't want to outright say it, that's fine. I'll say it. I'll be the mouthpiece. Yeah, Marcos, fuck you. You're trash, all right? And your, your girlfriend, Dora, bitch. <laughs> Dumbass bitch, by the way. Uh, there you go. And Don Malky, an accomplice, scum, trash too. All right. All you guys are dumb asses and belong in the trash heap. All right. Because you guys are just full of shit. Uh, so, so full of shit. I mean, you, you just got it. Whoo, man. I'm just saying. You know, I, I just see the shit all the time. The, just the, I mean, like I said, if it wasn't just the contradictions and the lying all the time, that's the biggest stuff that bothers me the most, all right? Like, you know, it's, it's, if you're trying to fake the funk, they're not doing a good job at it. That's that's the problem. And, uh, that's, and that's why I call that shit out, you know what I mean? If they were better at playing it off and it goes under the radar, okay, well, shit. Like, almost pulled it off, all right? Almost got me there on that whole Titan 369 100K deposit. Almost. I was... I was there. I was watching. I was like, oh, man, you're actually going to do it. And then when you say, oh, well, you know, this may take a few minutes. And, uh, you know, I, I just got to hit the pause for a minute, okay? And I'll be right back. And then, oh, it only took like a minute. 
It only took a, it only took like thirty seconds to a minute, and it complete. I was like, get the fuck out of here. I was like, you're 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 a fucking liar, man. Because I went through it live, and yes, it was super fast. That didn't have to hit the pause button to come back and do it. Because uh, we all know that that 369, there's no way you would ever put 100K in it. Because you, cause you are a scared, you know, scum is what it is. Scared scum. And uh, there's no way you would ever put that amount of money in there. And I, I say it myself. I, there's no way I would. I'm, I'm scared of that shit. I would never put 100K in a platform. Sorry. We'll not even do it. All right. So that's a way of him telling himself, telling on himself. All right. And so, uh, but again, I'll, I'll uh, share with you guys what I'm talking about tomorrow, all right, on that stuff. We'll, we'll dig deeper into that. So we talked about Quopi. We talked about this. And then, of course, we already touched on this over the weekend. And, um, you know, we'll call it LG, all right? LG, uh, Lance Green, all right? We all know Lance Green, LG. They're a private group. Um, they've been having issues, all right? And so... It's been very, very quiet ever since uh, there's been like a, the chatter and whispers of something's been going on with their uh, crypto. It's been very, very quiet. Like usually the representation in the platform itself or in the chat would be there to talk. But man, it's been really quiet. All right. As the day's gone on uh, ever since... Thursday and Friday passed and not pay, man, it's been super quiet. And to me, you know, when I saw that, um, I always, you know, put the writing on the wall. I even said it in my chat, this shit's done. It's done. So yeah, Lance Green is done. All right. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let's see. So the official, they talked about a call. This was back in uh, January 11th, so a few days ago, right? Last week. Um, I don't even know if they did a call, so breaking news. So, yeah, earlier that week, though, uh, leading up to January 11th, right? They're talking about how they were touting, uh, you know, they're 13 months old and, you know, 40,000 people in it, over $60 million paid out to members, 57 countries. Uh, 57, you know, 50 leaders to retreat in Brazil, blah, 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 right? And they're going to do this mega launch in June 2024. And then they did this auto renew thing. And I seriously was entertaining about upgrading uh, to the next plan up, right? But yeah, this has been crickets ever since this January 11th official channel, right? And then this is like their um, leaders channel, I guess. And it's, uh, I don't know if it's leaders primarily, but just people that are really immersed into Lance Green. Um, you know, and you know they spoke about the withdrawals and that they're they're trying to work on things, but there's really just nothing really being said, you know. And so it's been really quiet. So the guys that are prominently usually very prominent in the in this platform has been very quiet so the people like the um what's his name kevin so you have wolfpack tommy hood i don't know if he really but yeah kevin Lattimore usually very very active look at all the different admins right and um See all these different admins. This guy deleted himself. Whoever this admin was, it's gone. Um, yeah, usually he'd be very active, like, especially Kevin. Kevin's like one of the main dudes too, and nothing's been said. You know, it's just weird. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, people are asking, hey, you know, when are the withdrawals coming in? And after that. <laughs> Less and less talk coming from the admins, right? Especially uh, Kevin, because Kevin was the main dude. Uh, believe it or not, I mean, you don't have to believe me, but you know, I actually was on a call with Kevin before in the very, very beginning, all right? So, you know, I and he's one of the main top 
guys in Lance Green, if not the guy. I don't know if he's running it exactly, but he's the guy to go to in, in, on this in, in general. So all they kept saying was patience, patience, you know, um, you know, we'll, we'll be okay and blah, 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 just hang in there and all this stuff, but they're not really saying anything, you know. See, they're working through things to get stored, restored, everything as much as possible, right? Uh, they're working on a specific problem created by a couple of dozen people. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So, that was back on the 13th. Let me see here. So, says it could be fixed within days to two weeks. My best guess is a week. This is patience. So, I don't know, man. And then the, after that, the last two days have been quiet. Alright, they're supposed to have a call today, but nothing really happened. Nothing really was really spoken about, as far as I know. And I don't even know if they even had the call at all. They just said, um, if there is any news, we will put it in the group and pin it. We haven't heard anything. Therefore, there's no news, right? And that's one, one of their admins. And so, I don't know. It's just funny to me. To me, all right, if they don't know what's going on and, you know, they've been having this issue this week, um, yeah, I, I, I think it's done. That's what I think. So... I've been calling it LG Private Group because, again, they like to keep it private. And so that's what it is. So private, maybe privately they'll just uh, disappear. <laughs> Who knows? Um, and I don't know if it has anything to do with the market and Bitcoin because they only use two cryptos, either Bitcoin or Tether. That's the only cryptos they use. Um, and I've been collecting Bitcoin every week from the very beginning. That's how I've been doing it, except that this week was the only or this last week was the first time it didn't come through in a timely manner like it normally would. I mean, it was on point every week. And like I said, uh, since the beginning of the year, which has only been two weeks, <laughs> I've been, you know, really, really, really considering upping my position, you know, and um, going to the next plan until, until this happened. And I, I was kind of hesitant at the same time, part, partly because I was lazy, <laughs> Uh, that's probably the big thing. It was just, I was just lazy. And I wasn't, as much as I wanted to, I just didn't really have that, that drive to just say, oh, shit, I got to do it. I got to do it. You know, I said, eventually I'll get to it, right? And so I kept pushing it back. You know, this is now two weeks since the beginning of the year because if you listen to my uh, previous videos, I kept saying, yeah, hopefully by the beginning of the year I'll start to increase my position. Um, you know, and obviously I didn't yet because I've been slow about it. Well, now we're at this position now of it not happening. So, since last week, I did remove my link to Lance Green because of this uncertainty. To me, I, I don't think they're coming back. And I just think that they're just really, you know, hitting down the, the you know, they're hitting the button of just kind of slowing it down. And, um, you know, just trying to act like, oh, you know, we're trying to work on things. And, you know, they're, they're saying all these things, right? And... You know, it's nothing really happening. And to me, I don't see it coming back from it unless they, if they do, there's going to be some heavy restrictions on it. You know, like, oh, only a certain amount could come out or you only can use a tether because Bitcoin is so volatile. And, you know, all these excuses they're going to try to find to either have heavy restrictions or not pay or something, you know, and... Um, you know, that's just what they're going to do or they're just not going to come back at all. And so those are the two things I think is going to happen. Um, again, because I've been in this game, you know, for a very long time. You know, I've seen a lot of things happen. All right. And this is not new. All right. This is not new. This is not, you know, something like, oh, you know, man, this is, you know, oh, my gosh, you know. And I'm not going to say some shit like, well, let's pray for these guys to come back. Okay, let's let's pray, you know. And uh, I'm gonna go on my Sabbath retreat, you know. In the meantime, and uh, I'll come back, you know. I'll pray, and 
I'll get on my knees and pray on my Sabbath retreat on my knees, all right, mouth open, and then uh, I'll pray until Lance Green comes back and then in good faith. And if they come back, then, then I come back, all right, with my mouth open. <laughs> all right. Uh, on my knees. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's just what it is. I think Lance Green's done. I, I just think that, hey, you know what? They had a hell of a run. I mean, one year, that's pretty good for a platform. Um, you know, it could have easily gone a year to obey. Platforms go through it, you know? And, and this is not like any other, you know, anomaly or whatever. It's just, it's just another platform with a different method of how they earn and it, it's done its course. All right. So that's the reality of it. If it do come back, uh, they'll probably be having some, I just don't think it's going to be business as usual. I think there's gonna be some restrictions on it. Big, big restrictions on it. That way it limits the money that comes out, you know, cause they were trying to work their way back to full health and you know, they'll have these excuses. Um, but that's what they're going to do or they're not going to come back and stuff. So that's what I think is going to come with it, all right? Uh, Quopi, again, I'm just pessimistic. I just don't think they're going to give everybody back their accounts like they say they would. They're just really slow at it. And the Echo One is simply done. They're just way over the top done. <laughs> don't, they're never coming back. Um, they might try to bullshit and uh, try to make make it like, oh, you know, uh, you know, we're still trying to work on things. And in the meantime, deposits are still open. So go ahead and deposit, all right? Because one thing that Marcos hasn't done is he has not said anything about don't put in any more money into this thing. Don't do this. Don't do that. He keeps on trying to uh, just really play the play the course, you know, just let it be with Echo One, and Echo One's been done, like, at this point, it's, it's just, you know, he's just a piece of shit for really encouraging you to continue with it, but at the same time, he's trying to play the spin game, and, uh, saying, well, you know, in the meantime, well, we got Titan 369, and, you know, I love everything about Titan 369 because it's everything about a platform. It's like every platform that comes out, that's what he says, right? It's oh, it's about it's everything that I, I've always ever wanted in a platform and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, shut the fuck up, nerd. And um, by the way, here's something I want to throw out there, right? <laughs> Vortec Part 2. How about that? And uh, let's just say that you guys recall... Do you guys recall that, you know, good old boy uh, Jensen in Vortec? Um, did you guys ever recall that they were talking about at some point tokenizing Vortec United at some point And, you know, they're going to run and do this exchange and all this stuff, right? That's, that's one of their future plans. Here, let me see if I can find that PDF still. I don't know if I still have their Vortec PDF. Oh, man, I would love to find that. I hope I still have it. I might have gotten rid of it, though. Oh, yes, I still have it. Cool. All right, let's see here. I don't know if it's in the roadmap. I think if the roadmap is attached to this... Um, damn it, it's not in here. It might be, like, on a white paper or something. Shit. Yeah, because they were talking about, you know, the next phase of what they're trying to do with Vortec was to tokenize it and blah 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 and um, you know that was like the next step in the evolution of Vortec and of course that didn't pan out and you know shit is the fan and they're gone right uh, but supposedly they'll be back in April right or whatever it is and um, to me <laughs> you know when you think about it hmm let's think about it here the ranks and rewards the commissions, hmm, very, very similar stuff, right? Let's see here. All right, so there's no hundred thousand dollar package, okay? But you know, hmm, it's food for thought. You know, let's, let's think about it for a second there. 
tokenization of a platform hmm makes you wonder all right just think about it all right think about it just for a little bit just just a tad bit all right the next phase of vortex united could it be titan 369 I don't know. I just want you to ask yourself those questions. Uh, that's, it's just rhetorical. It's something to ask yourself. All right, so uh, that's the latest in uh, everything. I just want to say thanks for tuning in. That is your death watch. And by the way, as you know, I'm not trying to come down on Titan 369, 369 because I'm in it myself, right? I just don't think it's going to have that run like Vortex did, all right? Because it's, it's kind of like Vortex, <laughs> but it's not. And so they're going to really try to push this shit hard. Um, and being a realist, I mean, I think it's going to have a good run. I, I like what it has to offer. I think it's going to have a good run. And, um, you know, being a, a true responsible leader as I am, you know, I'll always give you the real juice and the news and stuff, what goes on and these sort of things. All right. And all I got to say is, you know, Marcos is a lying piece of shit trash, all right? And if you believe that he actually made that 100K, then you guys got to get out of crypto. But how many times he's going to pull the wool over your eyes for each program, all right? Especially like, like that like bald-headed dildo Lance that follows him in every program. And it's like, how many times has he really screwed you over on those programs, you know? With the compounding, compounding, right? And there's other people too, you know? And it's just funny. But yeah, so yeah, be back tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to do the... The whole chatter of Echo One and that CO bullshit talk. Uh, I actually was going to do it today, but I actually uh, forgot to pull that out. And I didn't have time to to um, pull it out and then do the do this, you know, content. Uh, I'm a little bit short on time at the moment. But you know, I figured I could follow through with it tomorrow and then inject any, any new updates if there is any, which there won't be. But, you know, it's just par for the course because they're just going to just be <laughs> people asking questions is, is the witch jaws working is the witch jaws working right <laughs> and then no answers uh, and meanwhile all you're going to do is see the spin game Mark's going to say well you know Echo One's going through their thing so uh, in the meantime oh <laughs> by the way they talked about how the support team like one of their main guys that he talked to you know, got into a car accident. So there's another, there's another guy that does have access, but he doesn't have full access to the funds. And uh, it's just, it's a, you can't make this shit up is all I got to say. And it's just, it makes you laugh, you know, when you see stuff. Uh, but anyhow, I'll share all that stuff tomorrow. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think about all this. I'll see you in the next one.